Well, good morning, YouTube. Arizona RE here. On my way to meet up with PDR this morning. So sit back and relax and enjoy the ride. I'll come back on when uh, when we've met up with Paul. Well, good morning, YouTube. Arizona RE here, riding along with PDR. You guys might remember him from uh, previous Riding with Paul videos. I'll go ahead and link those. Look at the victory. I just realized that uh, sometimes my text messages will get read out loud to me. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Let's see if it's true. Let's see if your wife does say nothing but sweet things to you. <laughs> She'd be like, Arizona RE, where are you? Get over here now. Clean the yard. <laughs> Watch my car. Bring back my motorcycle. She... Yeah, right? That's what she's going to say. You stole my motorcycle and went riding with someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Let's ride side by side like this so we can pretend that we're chips. <laughs> my bike's much smaller than yours. That It wouldn't even come close. You look like Eric Estrada. <laughs> How is it you're the widow in this? <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful morning, huh? My bike says that it's 82 degrees right now at 7.38 it does not, in the morning. It does not feel like 82 degrees because I'm happy I have this jacket on right now. It's a little chilly when we're rolling. Oh yeah, this is much better than blasting down the interstate. Yeah. So anyway, Arizona RE, since I've become a biker guy, Now I spend my time on my motorcycle instead of on the golf course. Every year for the last 10, 12 years, I've played in a golf tournament that's held during this Labor Day weekend. It's typically a Saturday, Sunday, and Monday golf tournament. And that's a long so tournament. Today, today is Monday, and here I am. No golf clubs. So what you're saying is that now you're a hardcore motorcycle rider, uh, you've given up the golf clubs on Memorial Day, or Labor Day. Yep. Yep. Times <laughs> change, don't they? Well, I can tell by your Sturgis shirt that you must be a hardcore biker. Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if uh, that means that I'm maturing. <laughs> I don't know. I, I think golf is a mature person's game, isn't it? it? Requires a lot of patience. Hopefully you can make me sound a little tough. <laughs> Not as feminine. Yeah, no, I'll be sure to change that. <clears throat> you know what? You know what? Let's 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 start. Let me I'm gonna go ahead and change my voice. Let's let's start from now on. Good morning, YouTube. It's PDR here, riding with Arizona RE. There you go. You gotta use that Telemundo we're, announcer voice. We're in beautiful Tucson, Arizona, and it's 82 degrees right now. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, that's what you gotta do, and then you gotta talk about your bike. You gotta be like, well, my bike is a 2013 Victory Cross Country. It slices, it dices, it circumcises. I am currently on a Cross Country Victory 2015 1731 cc's. <laughs> Followed by you know, Arizona RE on his triumph. Now you know I'm gonna leave all that in. Then you will sound like a dork. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, it's a roundabout. Us Americans don't know how to use roundabouts. <laughs> what do I do? Do I signal? What do I do? <laughs> 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 
free manure. Hey, I get that at work. <laughs> nice. <laughs> There's a mountain. A mountain. I've never seen that on Arizona RE. Well, then you haven't been looking. I'll link to the vlog. <laughs> Orale. Yeah, we're on the south side now. See? Look at him riding wheelies. Told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking Arizona RE has never ridden through Mission here like this. Oh yeah, I have. I, I read my infield through here. In fact, I can link to a, it. But you didn't ride it on a wheelie like you are that Triumph. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're crazy. I don't know what kind of crack pipe you were hitting this morning. It's so damn cigars you make me smoke. <laughs> those are good cigars, brother. I didn't throw junk at you. I think those damn cigars that you've made me smoke have burned some of my brain cells off. <laughs> I'm... I'm not the man I used to be. Sounds like you're qualified for government work. <laughs> that little kitty of yours it does all right. It does all right. I still I have to take it, it easy. I still I have to take it easy. Any part of it. Uh huh. I have to take it easy because it's uh, only got uh, less than 200 miles on it, so can't really spank it yet. And so, Paul, so um, PDR, Senor PDR. What made you decide to get a victory? When you went looking for motorcycles, you already had the uh, Yamaha WR450. So what made you yeah. go looking for a victory? You know what? I've gone back and forth looking at both the victory and the Harley Davidson. And um, honestly, like both, did not have a preference much as to whether I went with Harley or victory. And the more I researched online and the more videos I saw, on the more I read up on Victory, it uh, basically ended up being my choice here. I ended up going to the Victory store, went to a demo ride, got onto a couple Victories, and I was sold. And actually, recently, I was, I was thinking of maybe even switching over and going to Harley, but I think uh, that feeling went away. Yeah, did going up the Sturgis change that? Yeah, you know what? Exactly. Sturgis, 99% of all the bikes were Harleys. 1% so victories. Right, so no, right now you feel like... So right What's now that? you're feeling like that, um, that you're a little bit more unique. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. And everything that I've read, everything that I've seen, you know, says that this is a very, very good bike, very good motor. Uh, you know everything about it. I love the style too about this thing and, and especially I, I love the size I did sit on a um, Street glide recently and it actually felt small to me a little bit So, you know the controls felt like they were short the handlebars felt like they were small Whereas this bike here, you know, it, it feels nice and big and Nice and powerful nice and smooth. So I think victory it is for me There you go well, they got a lot of good things about them. The gear-driven primary, uh, the overhead cams. You don't have um, you don't have valve lash adjustments. It's it's really it's, it's pretty cool. Uh, the maintenance the, schedule is a lot less than it is on a Harley as well. Yeah, exactly. One of the other things that, that Victory is proud of is 
where the stator is located on these. Apparently it's, it's on the cover itself, on the primary cover. Whereas with Harley, they actually bury that stator deep into the engine, which often causes those stators to get hot. On the Harley, they say, you know, it's out here, it's, it's towards the furthermost point of the, of the motor. And, uh, you know, it's in the wind, it's nice and cool. Never have to worry about it being hot at all. Well, not only that, but if it does come time to replace it, then it's easier to get to. That's exactly it. It's very accessible. Um, you know, to change the oil, it's one drain plug, and that's it. Not two or three different uh, drain plugs to change, you know, oil from various locations. All right, so we're going to get up to higher speeds here now, so I won't be able to hear you until we get there. All right. Yep. Well, it's been a great time riding with uh, PDR in, on watching them ride around on that cross country. Beautiful bike. Just did the uh, air intake mod. The exhaust is all tied up. All, he's got, all he needs now is a new, uh, what was it, Paul? You're putting on a new ignition set? So he's putting on a new ignition set and uh, a computer reflash, and he's off to the races, man. Running great. Anyhow, it's been a nice day out with the Bonnie, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>